In the processing screen, select a complete input, then touch on the gate section of the channel strip to view and adjust gate settings. The gate works by only allowing audio through unaffected when it's above a certain level. Lower level signal is attenuated, with the aim being to reduce background noise and microphone spill. For example, you may only want to hear a drum's microphone when that particular drum is hit, or there may be a guitar amplifier with a hum that you don't want to hear when the guitarist isn't playing. Use the in-out button at the bottom right to switch the gate in or out of the signal path entirely. Set the threshold to choose the level that will trigger the opening of the gate. This will usually be just below the lowest level of the signal you want to let through. Set the depth to decide how much the signal would be attenuated when the gate is closed. The attack is how long it takes for the gate to be opened fully once the threshold level has been reached. Hold is how long the gate will stay fully open once the level drops back below the threshold. And release is how long it takes after the hold period for the gate to be fully closed again. The middle of the screen shows the incoming level, the amount of attenuation, and the resulting outgoing level. The graph shows the input level on the x-axis and the output level on the y-axis, and the histogram at the bottom shows the attenuation that has been applied in the last few seconds.